Hello guys, today we are going to make a Halloween tote bag and I'm going to be doing it using TechRap's Puff Final. This should be a very interesting project, it's the first time I'm working with Puff Final. We're going to need very few supplies, you need a lint roller, I'm going to need a heat resistant tape because I'm going to cut really closely around the designs because I don't want to keep repressing because that might affect the puffiness of the puff vinyl. We're going to also need the pin pen tool to weed the HTV, a heat press and of course something to press on. So let's go to design space and choose a design. Okay. So once we are in design space, I've already made my design. So I put this black background just to show how the design will look on my tote bag as it is also black. So this is not going to cut. This is just for visualization purposes. Now, let me just show you how I found these um, images. You go to images and you search for whatever design you're looking for. So for example, I was looking for trick or treat. And you just scroll and you choose the design that you want. So this is the one that I chose. Okay, so then basically I ungrouped and then now what I wanted to do to save HTV is I wanted to separate these bats because once I cut them, there's going to be big spaces here, which I consider kind of a waste. Now what I did is I duplicated it three times. And then going to contour, we remove the first and the second. And on the other one, we remove the second and the last. And the third one, we remove the last and the first. And this way I have my three bats and when I click on make it, they're all going to be nestled next to each other. This way I can save as much HTV as possibly can. So basically you compile your design this way. You just search, I search for moon, I search for stars and I search for pumpkin. And for the pumpkin and trick or treat, I attach them together because I want this to cut as a whole. So I don't have to find it tricky when I'm piecing things together. Now let me just delete this let's hit make it as you can see it will segregate for you all the colors differently on different mats this is the orange one this is the tiny stem of the pumpkin and these are the bats so if we would have cut it the previous way it was going to be something like this and we were going to lose a lot of um, HTV in these areas so this way I can save as much HTV as possibly can. Now, don't forget to mirror because we are using HTV. So I'm just going to click mirror on all of these mats. Okay, now let's hit continue. Okay, now once we are choosing the material, TechRap are recommending to use the premium holographic um, vinyl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, material. So click on material settings and scroll all the way down. I'm going to click on add material, new material name. I will put tech wrap puff vinyl. Click on save. Now they are recommending between 180 to 185 pressure. So I'm going to keep it at 180. Fine point blade and, and the blade should pass only once. I don't want it to repeat. Click on save. And close. Now browse materials. I will search tech wrap. And here it is. Click on that. Click done. Now let's go and cut.
Always remember to cut HTV on the shiny side facing down. Now that we cut things, I cut them into smaller pieces so that I can weed them easily. So let's start weeding. Okay, now that we've weeded everything, let's start pressing. I'm going to get out my tote bag. And give it a roll with your lint roller. And let's start laying our design. Now, as I told you before, because I don't want to press more than once because this is buff vinyl and I don't know how it will react to pressing several times. So I'm going to be using heat resistant tape to adhere all the pieces together and make sure there is no carrier sheet that is the backing sheet that is overlapping on another part of your vinyl. So you don't want something like this to happen because then your vinyl will stick to the carrier sheet. So you wanna cut as close as possible to your design. All right, now, so I've got the pieces very close to um, the design so that I can layer them. So now let's just start layering. All right, now we're going to press at 300 for 15 seconds. I'm going to place a Teflon sheet just to protect where everything is so it does not move all around. All right, moment of truth. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that texture.
All right, you guys, this was our tutorial for today. I loved working with the puff vinyl, although it made me a bit nervous, but look at this texture. It is gorgeous. I can already think of a million ideas I can use this for. All right, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.